in the market for some new boots, but you need a ball on a budget, this is our buyer's guide for motocross boots under $500. Kicking things off today, we've got the Fly Mavericks. These are the cheapest in our list comparison today. They come in at just under 250 bucks. Now they are a base model boot, so they just have some pretty simple features. You've got the tri-buckle system here. Pretty simple, it's a simple slide and lock pin system. It's gonna clip in and still give you that protection that you need when you're out on the tracks. A nice comfortable fit, as I missed that buckle. But a nice comfortable fit. And it's gonna be something that if, you if you're not used to riding in motocross boots that are quite stiff and are there and quite bulky, this is a good way to step into a boot that if you haven't worn some before. They are that little bit slimmer, a little less bulky, you've got a little bit more movement that you can move back and forth in these boots. So at the base of our list, but a really, really good option for your entry level riders, the Fly Maverick. All right, so stepping up, the next boot in our range is the Fox Comp X. Now these are coming in around that $300 price point. So the comps have a tri-buckle system here. And once you open them up, you'll see no Velcro. Now Fox will like to go without a Velcro, which we will see on most boots. We'll have a Velcro system at the top, but Fox will like to go without that. As you step inside though, what they do have that most entry level boots don't have is an ankle bracing. So you'll see here, as you pull up on that cord and pull down the locking mechanism, that's gonna give you that extra little bit of bracing through your ankle, which is something you don't really see on an entry level boot. So that's a really cool feature with the complexes. The other thing that the Fox boot here has in front of us as we snap these buckles back close, an enduro sole. So these are an off-road boot, so it's their Comp X. So you've got a lot of traction through that tread pattern there underneath your foot. So if you do get stuck on those slippery hills trying to push the bike through a creek crossing or you know, getting stuck on that slippery log, you're going to have a bit of grip there to get your foot down, really plant it and get yourself out of those sticky situations. So coming in around that $300 mark, the Fox Compact, really, really good option. Next up on the list, the Fly FR5. Now I'm just going to quickly bring in the Fly Maverick and I'll slide this on across here. So straight away you'll be able to see the difference from Fly's entry level base model boot moving into Fly's high end mid range boot. Now straight away the first thing you'll notice, four buckles on the FR5 that are made of metal as compared to the three plastic buckles on the Maverick. And also if you look on the inside of the calf, you'll find a lot more bracing through the side of the FR5 than you would on the Maverick. So we'll get rid of that now and let's focus on this. So those four buckles are gonna give you a lot more support and a lot more durability having that metal buckle rather than a plastic buckle. Open it right up. Good thing about the flies, they open up nice and wide. So if you do have a bigger calf, that's gonna be able to give you that room to fit in. Or if you're wearing knee braces, it's another good option. So to have a boot with a metal buckle and a lot of bracing, coming in just under that $400 mark. It's a really, really good option for those guys who are weekend warriors or just riding the motocross track every now and then. Now and then sorry. Really good option. So that's the Fly FR5. So now we've got the City X3. Now this is moving from that entry level more to that mid range in the boot range. You'll see through the side here immediately, compared to the other boots in our list today, it's got a full flex system through the side there. So that's once again, gonna give you that more protection through your ankle. The other thing they use on these X3s, the buckle system on these is actually the same as what's on their high-end Crossfire models. So you're getting a high quality component tree throughout this boot that you know you can trust. You can open them up nice and wide here and you're gonna get that protection on both sides of the boot. Staying under that $500 mark is a really good option. And the other thing about the City X3 that we really like to focus on, they do a ladies version. These have all been crying out for this, a high-end women's boot that is specifically made for you in your own sizes. Now it comes in a couple of different colors in the ladies. They do the blue and pink. They also do a gray and white. So there is a boot out there that isn't pink and is for women. You've been crying, we've heard, the companies have heard and they've brought you something that you can actually wear, actually enjoy and actually stay protected in. So there is a ladies boot. So that's the City X3 and I reckon that's one good looking boot. So finally, we've got the Alpine Star Tech 7. This is probably the most popular boot around the world right now, not just in Australia, everywhere. Anywhere from weekend warriors 
to your professional motocross riders and supercross riders are wearing the Tech 7. For many reasons, starting with, first of all, you slip your foot into this. This is easily the comfiest boot on the market. Doesn't matter if it's high end, mid range, entry level. No one can put this boot on and say it's not a comfortable boot. Everyone loves it, including myself. On the Tech 7s here, mimicking their Tech 10 high end boot, they run the same buckle system, except on the Tech 7 here, you'll see that it has four buckles in comparison to their Tech 10 that actually have three buckles. They have two forward facing buckles and two reverse buckles giving you that nice, secure fit around your shin and ankle. We'll open them up on the inside here. Again, a nice, strong Velcro through that top section there, so you know it's gonna hold on. You open it up. You can see how soft that lining is on the inside of these boots, giving you that comfortable protection and comfortable fit. The Tech 7 also comes in an enduro model. So if you look at the bottom of the boot here, you've got that more durable sole. So as you get into those greasier, bush riding conditions, if you've got the creek crossings and the greasy hills and the logs and all those slippery spots, you're gonna have that traction to be able to push yourself out of those situations. So there's the Alpine Star Tech 7, both its standard and enduro models. This is the most popular boot in all our stores right now. So make sure you come down to your local AMX and check them out. So there you have it guys, that's our entry level to mid-range boot range. If you need more information, make sure you head down to your local AMX superstores or jump online to amx.com.au and check them out there.